Hey everybody and welcome back. And this is the second part of the mapping system tutorial guide that I'm doing for, this is the intermediate stage. So if you didn't do the beginner stage, you're gonna be a little bit behind. So I would recommend you go back and watch that video and copy the code and then jump in back on this one and join us. Uh, before I get started, I wanted to say thank you to everybody who subscribed since the last video. Uh, if you haven't yet done that, jump on there, give us a thumbs up, a subscribe. Let me know what you think about videos in the comments below and request any content you want me to make in the comments below as well. So let's jump right into this bad boy. So what we're going to do today is we're going to carry on from where we left off and we're going to turn this mapping system that we've created with our little location into a screen where you can select locations upon the map. So what we're going to do before we do anything else is we need to define a screen. So we're going to go into our file directory tree like so and we're going to create a new file. So let me just go into scripts and we're going to create a new file and we're going to call this one the map screen dot rpy and that's given us a fresh screen a fresh file for us to do and the first thing we're going to do is define it as a screen and we're going to call it map screen like so and so the first thing we want to do is we want to define the screen area. Now we want the map to fill the entire screen. So we're going to declare a frame and we're going to xpos zero. In fact, better still, we're going to go x align 0, 0.0 white align 0, 0.0 so what we're saying is that the frame is aligned to the top left corner of the screen zero on both x and y coordinates now we want to define the size so we're going to say x size is 1920 y size is 1080 and we're going to set the background as an image that we've selected called maps.jpg. Now you don't have to do that step if you don't want to. Uh, I would recommend you do because what that's going to do is it's going to fill the screen with the file that we have downloaded. So that's the wrong thing. So I've got map.jpg here like so. And that should now give our Ourselves the starting point. So, what we want to do now is we want to take our locations and we want to place them as image buttons or buttons on the screen. Now, I haven't downloaded any graphical assets to put in the map in that regard. I'm just going to use text buttons, but you can always just download a little icon for a house or for whatever you want your map icons to be for each individual button and just use those as image buttons instead. So what we're going to do is we're going to declare a button and we're going to give it text and we're going to call this one home and we want to give it an action. And in this case, what we want to do is we want to return and we want to return the string home, like so. Now in theory, that's all we should need to do, in theory. So we're gonna come back into our script.rpy. Oh no, I nearly forgot. We need to give it X and Y coordinates. So we need to Give it an x position i'm just going to give this one 1000 by let's say 500 about halfway across the screen about halfway down give or take so we're going to come into this and we're now going to say we are going to add an option and it's going to be open map 
exactly we need to say location equals renpy dot call underscore screen open brackets and we're going to call map screen and we're going to say layer equals screens and let's see if that works shall we so we say start and we say open map and we say oh by yeah, a typo silly me let's take one of those p's out of there save it again hit start open the map okay so here we go we've got if we click on the button let's just change our location to auntie's house just to check that it's actually working and there you go so let's get out of this so at the moment we've got our one location defined as a button in our frame but we obviously have several locations so we can just copy and paste those i'm going to do that no we don't want that tab in there and we can change these so that's going to be auntie's house and we're going to copy all of that into there this one's going to be the shop that to say shop and this one's going to be school and input school into there as well and now all we have to do is change the coordinates on the map that we want these buttons to be at so let's say we want this one to be at around 800 by 600 we're going to change this one to 50 along by 100 and then we can make this one like 1600 by 800 now when we save that we can launch it again hit start open our map and as you can see we have our shop our home auntie's house and school links all available on the screen now what you'll notice is because we've done some funky business with our quick menu it's kind of obstructing part of the screen but that won't happen with you because obviously you're not going to be a plonker and have your quick menu vertically in the center of the screen so <laughs> that's really all there is to this step the intermediate is just simply creating a screen calling it and returning the variable that you want location to become from your map screen so I hope you enjoyed that short video. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you in the advanced video. Thanks very much. Bye bye.